On this episode of Infowars News Blitz, Turkey sets up a no fly zone. My Adam tells how to beat the rigged system, and Alex talks to one of his IT guys about the difference between Chavez and Obama. Live from Free Ridge number 3, this is the Infowars News Blitz. Alright, everybody, this is the first article here, so let me get to it. It's Basically, an article called Turkey State Turkey sets Turkey set stage for no fly zone over Syria, and it was written by Kirk ne Nemo or Nemo, whatever. According to this article here, it looks like the Turkish military or somebody else has landed a Syrian Airbus coming over their country and basically the F-16 actually calls it to literally land over here. The article says says that says that establishing a no-fly zone over Syria will open the door for direct military involvement by the United States and NATO as did in Liberty where where more than 30 thousand people died after the United States declared a no-fly zone. Analysts say that in order to establish a no-fly zone, Syria's relatively sophisticated radar and anti crowd defenses would have to be taken out. And folks, I'm just going to be straight with you, and I don't curse a lot here, but really, Turkey is the United States bitch. <laughs> As one person says it, not my words. Not my words, folks, but someone else's words. And I kind of agree. They're trying to start World War Three to, you know, a to cut off the, uh, I should I say, to stop the people from actually waking up and, you know, you know, there's a depression here all over the world, and basically they, they can actually stave off everything and give them a distraction to rally against rally behind their, uh, you know, so-called leaders in power and basically blow the heck out of stuff and whatnot while they're losing their houses and jobs and everything else. Alright, folks, this is the second of the three articles I have here. It is written by Mr. Mike Adams from NationalNews.com and it's how everything's rigged. Health, politics, finance, and more. But how? But here's how you can beat it. And the article goes on here to say that basically, you know, everything's rigged from politics to the healthcare system to financing, etc. But there is a potential way to basically beat beat it and be successful. Uh, as the article says here, I'm going to read one example here. The political system is utterly rigged to give you the illusion of choice while pre-taxing in the front of the two puppets, skin colors, who both serve the same masters, the banksters. Well, well, there's one way, way right there. I mean, seriously. And my personal advice, I think Jocelyn just said it before from the TransVenture.com, don't participate in the election. Don't vote. Simple. It's just that simple. And basically, here's a, and here's another example here. Here, uh, with all the uh, you know systems that are rigged, how do you how do you basically stand a chance against this stuff? Simple. You don't play their game. I mean, literally, if you're gonna be homeschooling, if you're gonna send your children to uh, public education education stuff, homeschool them yourself. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're eating GMO, don't eat it, you know, buy organic. If you want to keep yourself healthy, try the longevity products at InfoWorldsTeam.com, because basically that's, you will get better if you eat some of these foods. They all help, and basically I kind of agree with this article here. It's basically saying that there is a way to beat this. You, you just need to find it. Okay, people, last article, or should I say, last video to be precise. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, Mr. Alex Jones 
actually interviewed one of his IT people. His name is Max Cabrera. He is from Venezuela, and he just came back from, you know, uh, Venezuela after after the elections where Hugo Chavez was reelected, and he goes on to say that you know Obama is no different than than Chavez, which is actually the name of the uh, article here, which was which was basically came up made here. And I'm going to play you a couple of clips here. I'm going to play this video here, a little bit of it, and let you just for yourself. Uh, and uh, David Knight's doing the interview on some big breaking news. The federal court has ruled the EPA is allowed to poison you. So reversing the Nuremberg ruling, uh, this is a big deal, some big breaking news uh, tonight. But can you guys go get Jakari Jackson, that one clip I played on the news as a teaser for tonight, where the guy's saying Obama gave him $200 to vote for him? Uh, and, and again, government does this in these little handouts, but these people you know, really think, I got an Obama phone. And 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 Obama's going to do more. Can we queue up the Elmo Chavez version? He's giving away phones too. He's giving away phones as well. Okay, so tell us about that. So so there's a Chavez phone as well. Yeah, there is a Chavez phone. Uh, there is a Chavez car, and he's giving away houses as well. But they give they give the houses, but without the title of the house. So the house still belong to the government. Um, By the way, that's the plan they say to bankrupt all the mortgages, even those that are paid up is to then bankrupt them and nationalize them, and now you, the government runs your house, just like the Great Depression was used to get Social Security going. Okay, is, that's enough of that there now. And what this, I mean, I mean, you just heard what he said, right? Chavez is doing the same thing, too. Houses, cars, or whatever. It's just domestication of the public. So when, that the government will give them everything, and they don't know how to get it. I mean, they'll never work again. All right? Well, that's the articles I have for you today. If you'd like to read more about these articles, please go to the description below or go to InfoWars.com where you can read more about these articles. This is the InfoWars News Blitz. I am the Info Goddam. Telling all of you that the 48 hour money bomb will start up, for, will go on from the 18th to the 19th of October. So please don't hesitate to give. Thank you. Send it off.